Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, and with, today we're going to talk a new extension, which is really cool. It doesn't have to be on any site or anything, anything. All you need to know is first name, last name, domain, middle, middle initial or name if possible, and it takes care of the rest. Really pretty cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually open it up right here. So there it is right there, domain, first name, last name. So I'm going to put the name, domain. I'm going to pick my domain where I work, make life simpler. Pick first name, Dean, last name, DaCosta, and because my name is two letters, I always know it's going to be, you know, together like that. And I just put an enter. And what you see here is every single solitary possible permutation there is involving first name, last name. And I can tell you right now, one of them is right. Now, what do you do with it? You copy all that, copy it. You come over here and you open another tool, which is basically an online edit pad. We just open her up, open this bad boy up, give it a second or two to open, put all these emails in, and then you wait a sec. Now, why do you wait? Because you got to give it a second or two for other tools to kind of recognize the emails and stuff like that, like this tool here called Email Qualifier. And then you push the magic button, and you'll notice every single solitary one's listed there, but you're going to notice only one almost automatically came up with other info. That is my email. Now, if for some reason that one didn't come up and nothing else, like you just push, keep going down and pushing click to search, click to search and let it keep going and it'll search for them. But the reality is this is the right one. The very first one it found, which uh, is really cool, simple and easy. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, well, that's great, but that's work emails. What about other emails? Well, it's the same premise. If you think they're using a combination of the first name, last name, you can still do it. So as an example, if I put in Comcast.net, and I'm not saying I have an email address associated with this, don't even ask, and I do this, look what it does. It's still creating all my permutations for the first and last name. You can do the same process and run it. And so it works with even those. I could put Gmail. I could put anything I want. The point is, it, it's an online permutator for name-orientated uh, emails. Now, here's the interesting part. Now I do have an email address, it's Pro43. So if I put in Pro43 here, let's see what happens. Look at that, it created it. Now I don't have a last name, so it just created the only one there is to create. There's no other combinations. But let's see what would happen if I did Pro there and split it up, 43 there. Let's see, look, it creates all the permutations, one of which is the right one, the Pro43 at Comcast. So you could still even do it with usernames, as an example. And that's what I'm talking about here is the username. Well, it came up with all the permutations for those usernames that there is. Uh, and there you go. So it's a good little methodology, and it takes uh, my email finding methodology that I've got up out there on my YouTube video to the next level in that now you don't need Excel-based permutator as much because this particular one will actually do a lot of the work for you. And like I said, the best part is it can work almost anywhere because as you saw, I'm not even, I'm just sitting there on anywhere. So it's really pretty cool and makes life simple. And my name is Dean DaCosta and this was AB Email Permutator and Finder.